Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, haven't talked to you guys like this in a while. Um, just wanted to help you guys out to be set free. Uh, many of us are lost, self-included. I, I mean, I'm lost because I don't fully trust the Lord the way I'm supposed to. But I get this realization that what God wants from us, what he's always wanted from us, is simple. And once we come to that conclusion and that realization, that's when we begin to be uh, set free, set free, free to love, free to be ourselves, free to walk down our path that he has set for us. And that's when we realize that what the Lord wants from us is everything. He wants everything and he's always wanted everything from us. And once we come to that realization, it's, it's so freeing. It really is. Um, I mean, I'm here working, creating some YouTube videos. Uh, this is me partying with Spaniards. And um, every time that I put anything other than the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, God, the Father, the Holy Spirit, every time I put anything above the Holy Trinity, um, that's when I begin to falter and I begin to feel lost. And it can happen so easy. I was really connected with the Lord, very connected. I'll say when I was very miserable, it always seems to be like that. Because why, like when, as soon as I started doing well, and I'm t this is recently, you know, as soon as I started going on my travels, um, well, even during my travels, I was good. I was still good. But as soon as I got to where I needed to be, um, as you guys know, I've been trying to find my place in this world for a long time, coming from the streets of Pico Union and moving from place to place to place to place to place. Even when we got to Spain, we moved from place to place to place. And I finally feel like I'm where I belong. Um, I'm up in a mountain, highest point in this part of Spain. Um, I have more goats as neighbors than I, as neighbors than I do humans. Um, so I've been blessed. God answered my prayer. He answered my prayer. And this is, and I, and I began to be a weak Christian. Um, immersed in his blessings. I started to focus more on the blessings rather than the Lord. Um, I stopped reading the Bible as much as I should. I was stopped doing the rosary, guys. Like, stop doing the rosary, man. During 2019, um, I was going through some hard times when my, when my father was dying in front of me. It was a vicious death. Like, it was just brutal because he was having attacks all the time. But I want to get there. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about the Lord. And I started praying the rosary every day. And I became the closest I have ever been to God during that time. Think about that. Praying the rosary day and night. Reading the Bible day, afternoon, and night. Doing my daily devotional praying within the spirit every day just talking to the lord worshiping the lord i would wake up and worship the lord i would literally praise and worship the lord for hours on end um and that went away that went away started black you know focusing on other things my youtube channel um focusing on traveling making travel plans and my investments you know um stock market you know my crypto investments all that and then i started enjoying life a little more um i started drinking that's a big 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 like thing for me is alcohol um not that i'm addicted to it i'm not you know um i never been that type of alcoholic where i need it i'm the type of alcoholic that if i have one beer i need two beers and if I need two beers, then I need four. And if I need four beers, I need eight. And if I need eight beers, I need 16. And so on and so forth. And um, I feel terrible the next day. I feel like I've just committed a murder. You know, like I wake up, I tell my wife, what did I do crazy yesterday? What, you know, like it's just, 
and that's those are like evil spirits you know what i mean that's that's the devil playing with me you know what i mean he's like hey you you have and i'm the reason i'm talking about that is because i'm making this video um because this was the day that we hung out with spaniards and i'm like okay you know they won the euro cup that day you know i was like i'll have a beer to celebrate with them or whatever led to two led to three like i said led to a lot and um i lost and a very valuable thing that day but it was physical you know during that during that time whoever you know whatever i lost something very valuable um and so i was upset and i just it just that it was a very bad thing and that's just an example of how jesus wants everything god the father wants everything from us the holy spirit wants us to just be connected to him and him alone give him everything guys everything complete abandonment and like I said, I'm a work in progress, so I'm not speaking like from a pulpit, you know, I'm not speaking from, you know, I'm not higher than you. I'm likely at a lower level than you if you're watching this. Um, so I'm speaking because this is clarity that came to me and who doesn't love clarity, guys? So I'm here to make this video more than anything, to, more than anything to take my own advice and hope and also in hopes that if you're going through anything similar, um, you can benefit from this video too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, that's my message for today. Um, pray for me that I may become closer to Christ more so than I ever have been. It's my one and true passion in life. It's, it's my ultimate prayer. When I pray, I said, Father Lord, bring me closer to you, Father Lord. I want you to be my one and only thing because i know that if i focus on you and you alone then everything else will be better for it my marriage will be better for it my relationship with my mom will be better for it my relationship with my in-laws will be better for it my relationship with my siblings with my neighbors my presence in this community will be a positive one um and so on and so forth Everything will fall in place, Father Lord, if you just help me to love you more. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. So thank you guys for listening. Much love. Your brother in Christ, Lazarus.